In Krita, you can draw in symmetry, be it horizontal, vertical, or even radial symmetry. This set of tools is great to create patterns, but also for concept art and graphic design work. For anything that's symmetrical, really. There are two places in which you can control that symmetry. First of all, in the toolbar for simple, horizontal and or vertical symmetry. You can toggle two axes on and off that you can move around on the canvas. And then there is the multi-brush tool. It is a variation of the freehand brush tool that uses the same brush presets, but it allows you to paint in axial or radial symmetry. Let us start with the toolbar. You have two buttons that control vertical and horizontal symmetry. You can use one, the other, or both at the same time. You can see that whenever you toggle one active, you have a little handle that you can click on and drag around the canvas. It allows you to move the axis. For instance, for the vertical symmetry, you can move it horizontally. And you can also move the handle itself so that it doesn't get in the way when you are drawing. You can move your center of symmetry wherever you want. Note that it doesn't support snapping. But if you click on the little arrow next to each button, you have three options to play with. First of all, you can hide the line so that you can draw in symmetry without having the line and the handle in the way. You can lock the line so you can still have it, but you can't move it anymore. And you can also use the move to canvas center function to draw in symmetry based on the document center. That's about it for this feature. Note that symmetry works with all of the shape drawing tools, but it won't work with selections. And then it also won't work with vector tools. If you have a vector layer and symmetry on and you use a shape drawing tool, it will not draw the vector shape in symmetry. That's it for the toolbar part. Now we have to move on to the multi brush. The multi brush is that tool with multiple brushes in the toolbar. I have assigned it to Shift B as B is the shortcut for the freehand brush tool, but by default it uses the Q key. This tool is just what its name suggests. It creates copies of your brush strokes. It does that based on the tool options that you pick. Before we look at the specific options from the multi brush tool, note that it works just like the freehand brush tool. You pick a preset and you still have smoothing, the ability to use assistance. Only the options at the bottom are specific to the multi brush tool. First of all, you have the axes. You can toggle them on and off, and you have to click on that button, axis point, to move it. When you click on that button, you can click and drag on the canvas to place the axes. You can angle them if you want, which you cannot do with the options on the toolbar. Then you have a few modes. You have Symmetry, Mirror, Translate, and Snowflake. Translate isn't too interesting. It just creates copies of your brush strokes and moves them around on the canvas. For instance, if you pick three copies, it will just copy your brush stroke two times. Then you have the symmetry mode. This one will create a number of symmetry axes around the center of the canvas. If you pick a value of two, your canvas will be split in two. If you pick three, your canvas will be split in three, and so on. It allows you to create some kind of radial symmetry. You then have the mirror option. This one uses your axes for horizontal and or vertical symmetry, just like the options at the top. The main difference is that you can angle the axes also, you can combine it with the symmetry tool from the toolbar. And last but not least, you have the snowflake option. This one works just like the symmetry, 
but it also mirrors itself. So if you have a value of one, you will get horizontal symmetry. A value of two will give you vertical and horizontal symmetry. A value of three, look at what happens. You get three copies of your shape, but they are all symmetrical around the center of the screen. I'll hide the axes. A value of four gives you eight copies of your stroke etc etc so this makes it pretty easy to draw some kind of pattern a bit like a snowflake something along those lines i have one trick to share with you using symmetry what if you want to make selections in symmetry you can actually do it i have the butterfly centered on the canvas and i'm going to try to create a selection so the way you do it in Krita is you're going to have to paint your selection. I'll lower the opacity of the butterfly to make it easier to see the selection and I'm going to now paint on it. So I'll mostly paint the outline of the selection just like if I was using the outline selection tool. Okay, let's do it that way and then I'll grab the fill tool and fill my selection. All I have left to do is to go right click on my layer and pick the last option, select opaque. And you can see that I now have a selection based on my layer's content. I can then use it to paint whatever I want inside of the original layer.